Well, I came to the field uh, kind of a circuitous route. I was a marine musician prior to being an audiologist. And when I left the Marine Corps, I, I stumbled upon this field where I could use my, my curiosity and knowledge of sound as well as help people. As a marine musician, we all have um, auxiliary functions. Um, and one of mine was sound support. So I did a lot of sound support um, and became very interested in manipulating sound and, and, and how we treat sound. Um, and how we amplify sound. Um, and I knew about audiology when I went to college, and I also knew it took a really a lot of education to do that. Well, in college, I was in a telecommunications major and also audiology. Uh, simultaneously, I was looking at both paths, and it came to the point where I had to make a decision. And then after I got a few, few uh, years under my belt, I was like, well, okay, here I go. So I dove into audiology where I can use my, uh, my knowledge of sound and manipulation of sound and also help people. So it seemed like a, a really good uh, mixture, a really good marriage. Since then I've done just about every aspect of audiology you can do. I've worked in hospitals and ENTs, I've done pediatrics, uh, balance and vestibular testing and treatment. I like helping clinicians. They, they, they call us and they might have a problem or we might see them in the clinic and they have a, a particular workflow that they want to do and um, we can facilitate that and we can, um, we can give them a good workflow and that makes sense and saves them time and if we can save them time and have them working less time on the equipment then uh, that's more time that they can ultimately spend with their patients.